Good day everyone, this is Sniper Elite 5 and we're going to look at a sniper rifle that I've only used a tiny bit, haven't really used too much uh, in quite some time. It's the M1A Carbine or Carbine, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, there you can see it in Carl's hands. Uh, let's just bring it up in the workbench to take a closer look at the details of it. Um, okay, so there we go. M1A Carbine. Now, from the stats, uh, you can see the, the bars there. Power is about hmm, 40%. I think from the graph or the lines there um, and we just continue Rail fire is quite high quite decent control mobility is also good as well uh, I think the reason I haven't really used this is because the power is uh, low in comparison to say my favorite the M1903 uh, this rifle you pretty much will need a good headshot for it to work at a distance um, or you might need maybe two or three shots in total to kill uh, the good thing about this is that you've got a high rate of fire so therefore the follow-up shots are very quick uh, but also depending on how you want to play now you can see the audible range is 105 meters so that's pretty decent now if we were to stick on say a suppressor uh, here we go the Maxine 1910 suppressor um, does drop the audible range to 68 meters so that's good um, only thing it kind of loses a bit of power and a bit of control so Stu uh, good you know, in regards to the power it's going to give you there so great for you know those stealth um, gameplays you might want to do um, if we choose maybe a different suppressor, um, the one that gives us 47 uh, meters over the range, the Mark II S suppressor, um, there you can see the power does drop quite a bit and also you lose control mobility. So uh, really good for stealth, but of course, you know, the pros and cons is that uh, you may require multiple shots with this uh, weapon. I can see from the magazine size, I get 15 uh, bullets in the magazine. Um, so therefore, you know, should be decent enough to take out uh, enemies quickly with multiple shots if needs be. Uh, let's just go and check what other attachments we're going to take a look at. Um, now in terms of the sight, um, you can only get up to a 6x authentic zoom. Um, so those long shots may be a bit tricky to, to hit. Um, now depending what zoom you want to use. I'm chosen the M84 for the 6x, uh, not one of my favorite sites but I just prefer it for the distance um, we'll see how we go in a moment with that one there um, and all the other things uh, I'll leave it at stock for the time being stock and standard just to get a feel for it and uh, let's go for some shooting okay so let's try um, these targets over here so anything that's 15 meters or to 100 meters pretty decent don't really need to hold your breath uh, you can if you want to Okay, not bad there. Um, okay, let me just go to another range and see if we need to do some follow-up shots. Let's see how quick we can do some shooting though. Hang on a second. I'm not really aiming properly, but I'm just... Okay, yeah, so just firing quickly there to see that, you know, you got kind of like a, well, not really rapid fire, but a high rate of fire. Yeah, so, yeah, I guess pros and cons, if you want a high rate of fire, that's great. Um, only thing, I guess the power is lacking. Hang on, just for testing purposes as well. We'll stick a suppressor onto it. Um, let's just do the basic suppressor. New gear makes the job easier. Okay. Hmm, okay. The sound uh, is not bad, but I guess if you want uh, to go stealth, it's really good. So I guess I probably recommend take your time with the uh, weapon. Oops, I need to reload. Uh, you got standard rounds here. Standard, okay. Oh, that's pistol. Uh, was this it? Yeah. Does that re? Did that respawn? Oh yeah, it does respawn pretty quickly. Nice. Okay, that should do. Let me just reload it quickly. I'll grab my ammunition. Uh, so how quick can we fire off? I guess we've got a steady hand, it's not bad. Oh, that's uh, okay, gotta range it in a bit. Hmm, okay, so yeah, it's not too bad, I guess, if you want stealth um, and also rapid fire. But I think what we'll do, we'll go through a bit of a playthrough in Spy Academy. Um, I'll remove the suppressor and uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, so we're back in Spy Academy. Um, just going to try to do some sniping from the beginning of the mission and see how we go with the weapon. Now, 
I'm uh, using just a standard or regular ammunition at the moment. I haven't changed over to, uh, you know, match ammo. Use regular and see how we go. But uh, yeah, this guy is about, what, 150 meters? Yep. Does he have a friend next to him somewhere? There yeah, he does. Okay, let's see how we go with ranging in. Oh, we don't have 150, just 100 or 200. But, uh, ooh, that's a bit of a drop as well. Hmm. Oh, I think I shot him through the arm as well. I think I was drinking something, okay. Um so you can get this guy was moving. Oh, too high. Ooh, okay. I was aiming for the head, I just didn't hmm do it properly. Um okay. Yeah, so you can see the quite a bit of a bullet drop. I guess that's because of the power. It's not that great, so therefore yeah, just accordingly. Oh, well, there's an enemy here. He's 200 meters. Okay, let's see if you can range him at 200 meters and get exactly the shot. Okay, that's a lot better. Nice. Um... Okay, let me change over to match ammunition and we'll try a bit of a long range shooting with the snipers. Um, there's a sniper here. What is he? He's at just 360 something. Oh, that's going to be a tough to get. Let's try 400. Okay, you can see how much i got to try to adjust accordingly. Oh, that's a chin shot. Oh, I would have thought that he may be able to just survive that if you shoot the chin, but okay. Uh, is there another sniper over here? Oh, I'm hearing voices, but... I, oh, there he is. Okay, so he's talking to himself. Uh, 421 meters. Um, ooh, can we actually thread the needle with that? Oh, that might be tough. It's very hard to see as well. Hmm. I'll give it a shot if I can. It's about... Yeah, I think. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, so if you can get, you know, the aim nicely done or, you know, very accurate, then great. If not, uh, might be out of trouble. Okay. Um... This guy is 413. This might be where we have some trouble. Look how much we've got to try and adjust for that. And using the 6 times scope, you don't have much zoom compared to so like 10 times um, on the M1903. So probably the reason why I haven't been using this weapon too much, but let's see if we can actually get that shot. Oh, I hit his helmet. Through the nose. Hmm, okay. Um, so there I was thinking, yeah, because of the lack of power, wasn't able to penetrate the helmet with a match round. Um, so I had to, you know, follow up the second shot and lucky got him in the nose. Uh, this guy, let's see. Oh, is he looking at me? I think it might be. Ooh. Oh, okay. There was no slow motion there, but uh, managed to shoot him, and yes, he heard it. It uh, hit the helmet. So, hmm, how many bullets we got left? We got ten. So, good thing about this is that we have a lot of bullets in the magazine, so don't need to reload too often. Uh, oh, I thought I saw an enemy. It's gonna see dead body there. We'll just wait and see. No, nope, it should be good. Um, okay, in that instance, we'll head off. See what we can do on the ground. So of course we took out the snipers, so they're not going to be too much of a problem. But yeah, so it is a good weapon if you've got good accuracy and aiming. But uh, the power is what I'm not too fond of. Let's see if we can get these guys quickly. Oh, got a range in probably. Let's try 50 minutes. 
Okay, so you can see there, even though I'm not that accurate with the second guy, because he got fast firing rate. Right? It's a better place to hide. Oh, can I get this guy in the truck? Okay, second shot took him out. Okay. Uh, hmm. How many is an enemy around here, isn't there? Oh, there he is. Oh. Yep. I think there's a guy on a motorbike. Can I put a mine down here just in case? Yep. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go and grab some other mines. Good thing is that you can pick out other rifles and use that for ammunition, so that's a good thing. Oh, that's one down there I just saw. Very nice. Okay, so yeah, I guess the good thing about this is because you got a high rate of fire, you can follow up shots very quickly. Um, I was just about to say, I thought I heard an enemy running. Oh, nice German gymnastics right there. Okay. But yeah, that's actually pretty, not too bad. Um, what's this distance of this guy? 140. Uh, still 100, or you can see how much I gotta try and adjust for it. Okay, um, I'm kind of mixed at the moment on my thoughts on this weapon. Like, I didn't really use it much beforehand, so it's one thing I gotta consider. Uh, how far is the alarm? I just wanna get rid of the alarm first. It's 177, let's do 200. Uh, it's about there, I think. Yep, there goes the alarm. Yeah, so, good thing is that you can fire shots quickly in succession, if needs be, but, uh, just don't have the power for those extreme ranges, which is uh, you know you like you know you might know me. I like my extreme range shots. Uh, what's this guy? He is 180, 200. Let's see if we can get him. Well, that's gonna be a bit harder. Just oh, too high. Yeah, okay. You can see I need a three shots there to take him out. So because I wasn't accurate, that's why. Uh, did anybody else notice that? Ooh, don't think so. Uh, is this guy gonna stay still? What's the distance than him anyway? He is 167. Let's try and look for any other. Oh, that's one. Let's try this. Okay, um. Yeah, not too bad. If you can get uh, good accuracy. Um, if not, you gotta try and follow up quickly. Yeah, good to take out groups of enemies, you know, two or three enemies at a time if you don't need to reload as well, so. Okay, that guy looks as though he spun around, but yeah. I need ammunition. Let's grab that. This guy didn't hear it. Okay, we'll hear you now. Ooh, nice. Anybody else here? I saw somebody there. Hello, birds. Ooh, he just moved away. Damn it, yeah, he's moving. He's doing something. He's waiting for me. Will he show his head? I don't think so. Damn it. Okay. We're gonna be in a bit of trouble now, but Okay, not too bad of a weapon. Oh, was that enemy there? There's two. Hmm, okay, so I'm not really the best 
at doing accuracy with this one, probably because of the power I gotta try to accommodate. I'm not too familiar with it, but uh, we've got, we've got a lot of fast shooting that you, you can do with this. It's actually pretty uh, pretty good. Um, probably be, be uh, was it more stealth like if you want to put a suppressor on, but uh, yeah, just just testing it out without uh, the suppressor. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, another enemy there. Oh, in the you know what, and oh, look at all the wooden fragments in the sky. Ooh, um, kind of really destroyed him there. First, the bullet took out his yeah, and then the uh, explosion pretty much impaled him with wooden fragments. I think on that note, uh, we should maybe leave it like that. Anyway. Uh, good weapon, uh, nice and fun. Maybe not for me personally, but uh, it does the job pretty well. Check that guys, if you're new, please subscribe, and we'll catch you later. Bye bye.